We're here at Women for Women International, which both of us in our different ways have worked with and on behalf of for many, many years. I first knew it when Zainab Salbi and her husband Amjad actually founded it. And I say that because actually I think it's men and women together who empower women in the sense that, that you've been working for all your life. So given the structure of this conference and this, co uh, this conversation is about women at the peace table, women being part of the solutions, and women being the change makers to bring peace rather than uh, war, give me a little bit of your vision about how that could work, particularly in some of the most intractable places that actually don't empower women, Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan. Right, right. Well, first, Christiane, thank you for being here and doing this, and thanks to everybody who supports Women for Women International. Uh, I look out at this audience and I see some longtime friends uh, who have been in the trenches on behalf of uh, women's issues, women's rights, and opportunities around the world. Uh, and your question's especially important for this organization because historically, Women for Women International has worked in some of the most difficult places in the world. Uh, conflict zones, post-conflict zones, places where violence, particularly violence against women and children, uh, is uh, a, a threat for everyone. And they have gone uh, year after year uh, into these places to support uh, women, to give women a voice, to give women uh, job training, to give women access to markets, to try to ensure that women are represented when there are uh, conversations about peace or trying to end uh, the, the violence that afflicts their uh, community or, or their nation. And so there are other uh, places where women being involved has made a difference. And what we have to do is to raise up organizations like Women for Women International uh, that are really on the front lines and do everything we can to institutionalize that. And I am going to publicly request that this administration not end our efforts making women's rights and opportunities central to American foreign policy and national